Hello, I'm Carl from Personal Development Planet and today I've got a really cool self-hypnosis technique for you which I'm calling One Minute Zen. So what is it and what's it going to do for you? Um, really it's going to help you to program your unconscious mind uh, in a really quick and easy fashion. This will help you to feel really positive feelings, deep feelings of peace, strong feelings of well-being uh, in just one minute. It will also help you increase your confidence, it will help you to build resilience to the ups and downs of life and it feels awesome to do and it's very very easy to do in just one minute. Awesome. So where did I nick this from? Uh, I actually got taught this by one of the world's top Ericksonian hypnotherapists, a guy called Michael Watson. This is Michael's smiling, happy face here. He's a really cool dude. Uh, got a lot of time for him. He knows his stuff. He taught me this. He calls it quantum focusing. Quantum focusing. And it's his favourite self-hypnosis technique. And he's been doing this for donkey's years. I hope he won't mind me saying. Um, but he describes it as having a reset button for our brain. And I think that's a really apt, cool way of describing it. Because when you emerge after your one minute self-hypnosis session, you do feel as if you've pressed the reset button and you're ready to, to do something else from a nice, clear, chilled out place. Sweet. So what's the catch? It may sound a little too good to be true. And alas, there is always a catch. Um, luckily, it's only a small catch. Basically, for best results and to really influence your unconscious programming, you just want to use this a few times a day. Three or four times, I've found, is more than enough. And given that it only takes a minute, you know, it's not a huge investment of time or energy to stop for 60 seconds three or four times a day. And again, the reason you do this is because over time, your unconscious mind it works best through repetition. It changes through repetition. So if you do it a few times... That is for the best. And the only other thing, it may sound a little hippie at first. Um, give it a go and see how you get on. I, I was a little sceptical because it was it seemed a little out there, if you like. But actually, I found it really quite powerful and awesome. So, when are you going to use it? The best time I've found to use it is in transition periods, which are times in your day where you've just finished doing one thing and you're off to do something new. Really cool time to do it is in between there, so you're absolutely at the best level possible to go on to the next part of your day. So for the unimaginative out there is a few ideas. When you get up in the morning or in the shower before work, after lunch, before your afternoon starts, when you get home is a really good time to use it. Um, if you're walking somewhere or commuting on a bus or a train or if you're riding in someone else's car um, before bed, you know, use your imagination. It only takes a minute. These are just guidelines. Use it whenever you feel like, basically. And that's it. That's all you need to know. So let's get started. I'll teach you how to do it. Yeah, get ready to uh, brainwash yourself for inner bliss. It's, it's a really cool technique. So here's what we do. First, and you can do it now if you like and play along, what you want to do is shut your eyes and take a few deep breaths and get a sense of where your body is in space. Ooh. Now that may sound a little rogue, but really all that's doing is, is sending you on an internal search and as you get a sense of where your body is, like in this room at the moment, wherever you are, all that does is take you inside and shut you off from the outside world for a moment. Nice. Feels really nice too. Then, when you feel more relaxed, say to yourself, play with the idea, I have a happy heart. Now, whatever feelings come up, let them be there, but just kind of think about what does that idea mean to me? I have a happy heart. Bit of an interesting conundrum, if you like. So play with that, then take a deep breath and spend a few seconds playing with the idea, I have a playful spirit. I really like this one. Um, what does that mean to you? If you had a playful spirit, what does having a playful spirit mean to you? Hmm. Play with that for a few seconds. Then take a deep breath. And again, play with the idea, I have a peaceful mind. And you, what you're probably going to notice here is a, a sense of peace and calm and quietness, stillness washing over you as you play with this idea. I have a peaceful mind. 
So again, take a nice deep breath, and then just throw in a cheeky affirmation. I wasn't a huge fan of these before, but after these three ideas we've just played with, it kind of feels awesome just to play with an affirmation that, that resonates with you. So I've been playing with, I deserve to be happy, healthy, and rich. Nice and concise, nice and simple. And you just play with that, and you, you feel the good vibes and the good emotions that come with you know, thinking about yourself in a positive way. Um, you can choose anything you like here. Follow your gut instinct. Just throw something out there saying that you you want to be true in your life. And then finally, imagine the next part of your day going awesomely. Whatever you're transitioning to, just spend a few seconds just picturing or feeling that everything's going to go sweet. Whatever visualising means to you, you know, give it a go. Nice and simple. And as far as I can tell, my friend, that's 60 seconds well spent. You can really do it in, in 60 seconds or less. And it feels awesome. So to recap, first of all, you get relaxed. You take some deep breaths. You do this weird thing of locating your body in space. And that sends you on an internal search. It takes you away from the outside world. Then what you do is you play with three ideas. First, I have a happy heart. What does that mean to you? deep breath then I have a playful spirit it's my favorite what does that mean to you what would it mean if you did have a playful spirit third I have a peaceful mind and that's where the Zen bit comes in you're gonna feel a sense of calm wash over you then throw out cheeky affirmation feel it get the emotions going mine I, f I deserve to be happy healthy and rich it's a really powerful statement and when you're in this state of mind you're actually going to feel it it's not just words in your head you're going to get a sense of it which is another great way to influence your unconscious mind and then finally just spend a few seconds imagining the next part of your day you're going really well you're going to be really chilled out by this point as well so it's going to be easy just to think yeah you know what this is going to go cool sweet nice and easy and that's it uh, I hope it wasn't too hippie for you. I mean, as I say, I was a little sceptical at first myself, but after using it, really, really good results. Feels awesome. So give it a go yourself. See how see how much fun it is. Um, again, three or four times a day will give you the best results, and it's not too much of a burden because if you tried it, then you'll see that it actually feels really, really cool. Yeah, above all, have fun with it. Don't take it too seriously. If you want to change the words, change the words. Um, although I would say, give these a go first. They, they are really potent, powerful phrases. And even if they don't sound like something you'd normally say, play with the ideas at least once or twice and give them a go. And you should get massive results. I'll finally, um, I'll put a link below this video, but if you really want to get stronger results, get yourself some binaural beats or isochronic tones. Um, they are M MP3s for meditation. You can download them off the internet. They're very inexpensive. And what they do is they take your brain waves down into lower level of activity. Um, effectively what happens if you learn how to meditate, but you don't actually need any skill to do these, which is awesome. So you get really deep, powerful sense of calm and inner peace and then you play with this and it's just it's double the effects boom so all that's left to say is enjoy being a happy zend out warrior thank you very very much for stopping by i hope you enjoy it one minute zen and find it as useful as i do as i say a little bit crazy at first but i'm using it every day it does feel awesome um, my name's Carl Harvey. I run Personal Development Planet at pd-planet.com. Spread the love if you know someone who you think would benefit from this. Send it over to them. As I say, this video is less than 10 minutes, and then it only takes a minute to do. So it's not a huge investment for quite possibly really, really positive results. So enjoy. Have an awesome day, my friend. And uh, yeah, good luck with your one minute zen. Boom.